Now is Michigan Congressman Pete Hoekstra. He's the ranking Republican on the Intelligence Committee. Congressman, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Megan. Uh, so now we learn that we are transferring a, a Gitmo prisoner, a detainee, here to New York City uh, for trial. And some would use that as an argument to say, let's just close Gitmo down, as President Obama has wanted to do. We can try not just this guy, but others down at Gitmo in U.S. courts just fine. And people like you who are raising a stink about closing Gitmo uh, are raising much about nothing. Yeah, I think, you know, you have to take a look at this case and you have to take a look at every case individually. They are all very different. If you remember back to the bombings in 1998 in Africa, uh, we sent a, you know, a, a lot of our FBI agents to Africa. We treated those bombings as a crime scene. We gathered evidence, we built a case, and we now believe that there's sufficient evidence to take this individual to court. Most of the other individuals in Gitmo were picked up on the battlefield. This guy was picked up on the battlefield in Pakistan, but because of his link to the 1998 bombings and because of how we treated that as a crime scene, we believe that we can now prosecute this guy through the courts. That same kind of evidence, those kind, same kind of standards weren't in place and aren't in place for many of the other guys. What about somebody like Zacharias Musawi, who was the so-called 20th 9-11 hijacker who was tried in uh, America? And, you know, they, the, the left holds this guy up as an example of another case in which we tried a terror suspect here on U.S. soil, and that system can work. And, and just so our viewers know, this is all coming up because President Obama wants Gitmo closed, but the U.S. Senate, uh, following the House's lead, unanimously, almost, rejected that yesterday, saying, you may want to close, but we're not closing it until you tell us where these, these terror suspects are going. So in any event, now the debate is teed up to people like you to say, look, they did it with Musawi, they, they, they tried him here, why can't we try others from Gitmo here and close down that camp? Again, I think if I remember correctly, Masawi was arrested inside of the United States. He wasn't picked up on the battlefield That's true. Uh, overseas. And so, again, it's a very, very difficult or very different case. You can't take and say because we've tried these folks, it will work for all 240. Remember, many of these people were arrested or were captured on the battlefield. They weren't arrested. They were captured on the battlefield. The other thing that we just very plainly asked the president for is said, give us your plan. Brief us on what you want to do with the folks on Guantanamo. And the reason that he's being rebuffed by both the House and the Senate, both by Republicans and Democrats, on saying close Guantanamo, we're saying just show us the plan. He has not even been willing to brief us. This week we were going to have a briefing on this. Uh, the White House canceled the briefing uh, because they clearly don't have the plan. If the president presents a plan, we'll be more than willing to take a look at it and evaluate it. Now, supposedly he's coming out this morning with, uh, if not that plan, then at least remarks on this whole Gitmo dust up. Members of his own party abandoning him en masse on this. As you point out, this is a, this is a bipartisan rejection of the president's plan until, right. to close Gitmo until he figures out where these detainees are going to go because everybody on, on the Hill, speaking for their constituents, is saying, not in my backyard. It sounds great in theory, but once you actually want to transfer these guys, nobody wants him. But let me, let me pin you down on this because yeah. some of the Democrats have come out, Senator or Dianne Feinstein, for example, and they've said, look, we got some great prisons here in the United States. Uh, you know, usually they're extremely secure and we have some really awful people in them. And our prison guards and the correctional facilities do a great job of keeping them uh, contained and, and this business about the dangers of transferring them into a U.S. prison are really overblown. How do you respond? Well, again, if you take a look at why they are in Guantanamo, if you look at our guards in Guantanamo who are you know, guarding these individuals. They can't be identified. You can't go after the community. If you move these people into a community in the mainland, the terrorists will have a target. They will know who the guards are. They can target their families. They can target the communities where these individuals are. They are in Guantanamo for a lot of security reasons, including the personal security of the people that guard them, the personal security of the community in which these people may be housed, there is a whole long list of reasons as to why these people are in Guantanamo and why Guantanamo was selected in the first place. And until the president tells us that these criteria no longer need to be met and it's safe to move them in the United States, Congress is just going to say, no, we're not going to move them. I, you know, I hope the president doesn't announce a plan for Guantanamo today. You know why? Because if he does, he will have developed a plan and he will never have consulted 
with Congress, either Republicans or Democrats, as to what that plan should be. He should try to be reaching out in a bipartisan way between the executive branch and Congress to deal with this very messy issue. It's a tough issue. It's not hard. But we ought to be working together to try to get a resolution to this. Now, they're billing this as a major speech by the president on Gitmo and related issues. It comes up in our next hour. Uh, Congressman Pete Huckstra, thank you so much for being here with your insights on it. We should point out, it's not, as I said, it's not just Congressman Huckstra and the Republicans. Harry Reid. The, the, the Senate Majority Leader, a Democrat, has come out and said, it's not happening. We're not giving the President money to shut down Gitmo until we know what we're going to do with these prisoners. Uh, so we'll hear what the President has to say.